Okay, friends and neighbors, we're going to discuss how to do your basic maintenance on the four primary types of banjo tuners that are out there. So the first one we're going to discuss is the earliest, and this is really most properly known as just a friction tuner. Uh, most of us probably call these fiddle pegs or fiddle tuners because these are the same pegs that are used on the violin family of instruments. But really the best name for them is a friction peg. The reason they're called friction pegs is because you'll notice that this shaft is actually tapered slightly. And I believe that's about a three degree taper. And that taper matches precisely the three degree taper in the hole that is bored out in the, in the headstock of a fiddle or a banjo or whatever it is you're using this on. So that's the, the only thing that holds the tuning on this type of peg is that, that three degree to three degree taper fit. And you'll notice the main thing to take away from this on this type of peg is this is something I encounter a lot of times with, with new players is they have problems because they go to, to, to adjust tuning like they would on a regular tuning peg and it won't hold. It just slips all the time. The reason being is that every time you twist this peg, it naturally wants to back itself out of the socket a little bit. So as you're turning it, it's backing itself out every time you turn it, no matter what you do. The way you'll remedy that is if you see a more experienced um, fiddler or banjo player who's using an instrument like this, if you watch them closely, you'll notice every time they turn it to adjust tuning, they press it in. Um, you need to seat it firmly in the socket every time you turn it. And I know that kind of is a steep learning curve. That kind of sucks, but that's just the name of the game on this peg. Now, one thing that'll help you immensely is if you apply some kind of a bonding, um, like a friction agent, I guess you'd call it. There's numerous materials you can use. If you want to purchase something off the internet, there's stuff that's called peg dope that a lot of fiddle players use. Um, probably most fiddle players will use just the violin rosin that they rosin their bow with. The material that I use is what you're looking at here. This is a lump of 100% pure beeswax. This came from our bees here. For years we kept bees. And if you know beekeepers, you know they've always got just more beeswax on hand than they know what to do with. And I found a great use for it. 100% pure beeswax. Notice how hard it is. And basically just take it and rub the shaft of the peg on it and you have to do it real firm and do it until you'll start to see some of it come off on the peg but just keep keep at it you know rub it on there real good um, you see how it's got wax on it now you want to do that you also it's not a bad idea to to rub a little bit of that wax inside of the shaft that the peg is going into now if you really really important to take note of is you want to do this um, every time you change strings on this type of banjo, if your banjo or fiddle has these type of pegs, you want to go ahead and um, wax them up every time you have the opportunity when you have the strings off the instrument. Okay, let's, that's enough on that. Let's move on. Um, the next type of peg that's very common, um, I've heard these called champion tuners. More often than not, you hear that called a patent tuner. It's screw tension, meaning that you, you basically, to adjust the tension of the peg, you would loosen or tighten this screw. And that's how you disassemble that. If you loosen this, this screw all the way out, this button comes off, you have a top piece, you have the main shaft, and you'll also notice in here, you've got two little paper washers. These two paper washers are crucial. Now, cardboard or construction paper works the best. You can get away with just metal, but I have seen the metal damage banjos before, and you're not going to get as smooth of a turn if you don't have some kind of paper or cardboard washer in here. Um, when you order these pegs new, they will come with paper washers. When you find them as antiques, they almost never have the washers. So you'll need to cut out your own washers out of cardboard or construction paper. If you're older, or disabled, or if you just want to save some time, uh, I don't know what these are called, but you'll, you'll see these are those little donut-shaped stickers that you buy um, to, to reinforce the holes in your three-ring binder. These work pretty good. You can just pop the little central sticker out, 
and use that donut part. And you might have to do a little trimming to make it fit and look nice, but these will work. And you need two paper washers per peg. And these will these paper washers will go up against the the front of the peg head and the back of the peg head. So that's really important on that type of tuner. The reason they call them patent tuners, I need to cover that real quick, is that when you see the original antiques on this surface right here, they'll be stamped patent 1888. So that's when this type of tuner was patented. They really didn't start getting used in any significant numbers until the 1880s. And even, or I'm sorry, 1890s. And even, you don't even see them very often in the 1890s. It's usually early 1900s. So the next type we're going to talk about is this one. Um, this is another screw tension tuner. You adjust the tension by tightening or loosening that little screw there. And these are meant to be an improvement over that last type. I've heard these called a Stewart peg. I don't believe that they have anything to do with Sam Stewart because Stewart died in 1898. And I've only ever seen these on 1920s banjos where they actually shipped original from the factory. This does not use any paper washers. It's just, as you can see, where it contacts the banjo peg head. It's rounded. It's rounded here on this surface and it's rounded. It's nice and smooth and rounded here. So that's all. That's how these work. It wouldn't be a bad idea to keep some beeswax on this peg. Beeswax on any of these pegs is not going to hurt them. It'll only help them. So let me try to get that back together. The last type of peg we're going to talk about is the sort of modern geared uh, planetary tuner. The only thing that holds these on is they just screw together and you'll notice there's a little there's a little spike right here. That spike actually sinks into the wood and that's what holds it in there. And then they are still sort of technically screw tension because you can adjust the tightness or looseness of the turn by tightening or loosening that screw. That's how you would get that. But as far as maintaining these, there's not a whole lot you need to do. They're real simple to figure out how they come apart and they don't really require any maintenance. This is a nice gold-plated planetary tuner. Um, this is a modern one made in Japan. This should last you the rest of your life. Okay, everybody, that's all I wanted to cover on that. If you appreciate this material, if you learned something, please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. And best of all, if you want to share this with somebody who needs this information, that would help a lot. Okay, thanks for looking.